Hey guys, yes. welcome back to our channel. It's the Parent Entrepreneurs here, back for our Sunday recording. Yep. And for this week... So for this week, we're going to be talking about maintaining a healthy relationship. So last week, we put a poll out. It was regarding maintaining a healthy relationship versus recognizing MLMs. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty close battle mm -hmm. to see yeah. uh, what you guys wanted to talk about so the winner was uh, maintaining maintaining a healthy relationship so we're going to be talking about that today and we also have a book that we're going to be sharing with you guys that might help with that and i think because me and my Francis have been married for almost five years now i can't believe it almost five years and we've been together for more than a decade yeah a decade <laughs> yeah since we were in high school i think we have a pretty good good understanding of you know what makes us work and yeah. what doesn't so we definitely want to share that with you guys so that you guys can also have good relationships in your life that's right first thing we want to talk about again is to subscribe to our channel link is down below the button yeah. is down below <laughs> yeah like our youtube video send a comment to us send inquiries to us, follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. If you guys do that, it's gonna uh, help with our social media algorithm. So basically, kind of like what we said before, mm -hmm. if you do that, then we're gonna get um, uplisted a little bit higher than before. So let's get started. So first, we wanted to start off with the book that we're gonna be referencing throughout this video, and it's called The Five Languages of Love. <laughs> <laughs> um, by Gary Chapman, I believe. Yep. Yeah, Gary Chapman. And he talks about love languages. And for each individual, apparently there are five different types of love languages. Yeah, so there's five things. And one of them is act of service. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I guess I'll list it all out. Then after that, we can have a short description of what they are. Mm -hmm. Second one is quality time. Third is physical touch. Uh, Fourth is word of affirmation, mm -hmm. and fifth is receiving gifts. If you can, if you can identify what type of love language you are, mm -hmm. and which one is the highest, then you share that with your significant other. Then they can determine to see, you know, what works for you and what works for them, mm -hmm. so that you guys can have a better relationship. Yeah, and there's actually a test that we'll link down below that yeah. you can try out. It basically asks you a bunch of questions regarding how you like to receive love and by the end of the test you can see which one ranks the highest and which one ranks the lowest yeah and for me I was ranked the my highest was words of affirmation and my lowest was actually receiving gifts which is kind of surprising to me yeah yeah so the questionnaire basically goes through every single type of love language that you could have and ranks them yeah. yeah and so what's yours so mine is the very first one is act of, act of service and the lowest uh, or the very bottom is the same as yours yeah receiving, uh, gifts. receiving gifts mm -hmm. but we'll talk about the five types of um of what they are we'll kind of talk about the short description yeah so act act of services so you can think about that uh, maybe you know doing tours mm -hmm. at home or gardening acts of service yeah. is talking about little things that you do mm -hmm. to show that you're appreciative of the other person whether it's through chores whether it's through i don't know like massage that also ties into like physical touch yeah but uh maybe just giving alone time to the other person yeah stuff like that so yeah mm -hmm. just just like maybe providing that kind of service to your significant other so that even without the without them asking, mm -hmm. you do it just because you want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like actions speak louder than words, yeah. kind of thing. And mm -hmm. so we'll talk about the second one, um, quality, quality time. time. Yeah. So quality time is basically you and your significant other spending alone time together, just together, yeah. and also just being in the presence. So that's key, guys. Like you know how sometimes you and your significant other you guys are always on the phone or something like that or like you guys go for dinner but you guys are on the phone mm -hmm. so you guys not, are not 100 percent present so what you want to do is you want to be 100 percent there mm -hmm. so that you can know that hey that person is actually there and we're connecting yeah and that's what you want to do is you want to connect with the other person mm -hmm. and be actively listening and 
you know, just be present in the moment. Present in mm -hmm. the moment. The third thing is physical touch. This is regarding actual physical touching. So yeah. there are people who like to, you know, get hugs, uh, like to be kisses. kissed, yeah, like massage, massage. Um, yeah. sex. <laughs> That's a big one for some people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they have to have that physical touch and that physical connection, connection with okay, their partner. Yeah, yeah. So if that's at the top of your list, then you're, you're frisky. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> but yeah, you're physical. Um, the next one is words of affirmation. So this one was mine. Mm -hmm. So instead of actions speak louder than words, yeah. I'm more of a verbal person. My husband, like my Francis, talks to me and says like, oh, good job, uh, Wabi, that's what he calls me, yeah, right. uh, wifey, <laughs> yeah. uh, on your test, or good job taking care of the kids, and just praising me, yeah, that that's the best way that I receive love is through words yeah. of affirmation. Yeah, even on social media. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's a special occasion, mm -hmm. I would, you know, say something very memorable and also something that she would like, mm -hmm. then after that, she would have a really good reaction. Oh yeah, it and makes you me feel a, really nice. Makes you feel really good and appreciated. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that I like to be loved. So yeah. words, words of affirmation. Yeah. And then the last one that we're gonna talk about is receiving gifts. Yeah. So this is for people who actually like the physical, tangible gifts. Yeah. And what people or what uh, Gary suggests for people who like this is to. You know, drop little gifts here and there. It doesn't have to yeah. be like an extravagant gift, yeah. like a purse or something like that. But maybe it could just be a candy, right? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. a card or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. And these these people like to receive tangible items for yeah. love and feeling appreciated. You just gotta know what type of uh, profile you are, I guess. Yeah. So again, you can take the test and you can mm -hmm. find out and you can share it with your partner. And yeah. we highly recommend it. It's been really effective for us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So the next thing to second talk about, point. yeah, the second point in regards to having a healthy relationship is communication. And we hear this all the time. It's like you have to communicate with your partner. Yeah. That's like number one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, even if you guys have an issue or you guys are not on the same page, mm -hmm. you just have to have great communication skills because if you don't communicate with your partner then that's gonna be an issue long term also being honest with each other and having that trust yeah so if McFrancis decides to go out on a date one day date <laughs> <laughs> go, wants to go on uh, like a guy's night out yeah. then yeah. I would be trusting of him knowing yeah. that he won't do anything that would hurt my feelings yeah. He would answer my calls like if i wanted him to be home at a certain time then he respects that yeah. you know it goes both ways both ways yeah yeah and, and basically just building that trust at mm -hmm. the very beginning really helps out mm -hmm. and you just gotta remember guys that when you have somebody's heart it's very fragile mm -hmm. and what you want to do is you want to take care of that right so that you don't hurt it so you have to always have that kind of mindset where okay you're, you're holding partner's heart how are you gonna take, take care, care of it, it. Yeah. yeah and then also when it comes to finances as well is to be open and honest with it right yeah yeah, yeah. so you don't want to be hiding that ten thousand dollars of debt yeah, yeah. <laughs> from your husband or your significant other it's gonna cause you guys financial strain because now both of you are in it together like your together. finances are combined so you definitely want to keep your finances open make sure that you have a plan mm -hmm. together that you can work on if you want to achieve a financial goal like buying a house mm -hmm. or buying a car you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah and, and to be honest the number one issue why people divorce. get divorced mm -hmm. is because of financials yeah. and if you guys don't have that down mm -hmm. then it's gonna be a very tough road and that's why at the very early stage of your relationship you should kind of be open to what your financials are and if you guys have a bad habit try to fix it right away because if you guys don't um, it's gonna get worse mm -hmm. over time and to be honest for us we're not perfect right we're not a perfect couple mm -hmm. uh, we always have struggles but the main thing that we do is we try to fix it mm -hmm. so remember that guys that uh, having a relationship especially long term because we've been together for so long it's mm -hmm. like 10 plus years just remember that 
fix everything. So the third thing that makes a healthy relationship is working as a team. So for me and McFrancis, we're both parents, mm -hmm. right? We gotta, we have to make sure that we're both aligned when it comes to, you know, our beliefs, our values, yeah, exactly. um, that we're going the same path, that we're growing together, yeah. not just in the moment, like, oh, we have to, you know, we're looking at the future. We're not just looking at the short term, yeah. like we're looking at the long term long investment. Term long-term investment mm -hmm. and we're making sacrifices with our time yeah. so that we can get to a destination that where we want to be in mm -hmm. the future mm -hmm. so with with being a team where we for us we always have each other's back so right. if she feels down or if I'm down she would try to pick me back up and I would do the same thing mm -hmm. so kind of like in a sports where you know if one person is struggling or one person is um, not doing their part then you can expect that that team might have an issue right because you we you need each other to uplift have a common goal like accomplish yeah, yeah. a common goal yeah yeah so yeah it is like a team because it and also if you're a team member and you mm -hmm. don't go to practice yeah right like and the real event happens when you're playing the sport you don't know what's going to be happening yeah so it's important that you're you're there for the practice you're there for the practice yeah yeah <laughs> you're there for the practice you're there for you know all, all of the, the all the struggles basically right yeah. like, you know, basically when you're practicing you're conditioning your body you're conditioning your mind mm -hmm. so same thing with your relationship with um, your, per your, your partner, partner. It, mm -hmm. it could be you know you guys are girlfriend and boyfriend it could mm -hmm. be husband, uh, and, husband wife. and wife it yeah. could be basically basically anything right mm -hmm. you can transfer all that knowledge uh, from being a team player to other relationships yeah the last thing we're gonna be talking about is perseverance and this is so important guys we noticed even in today's society yeah. that it's really hard for couples to stay together yeah, yeah it's actually astonishing the amount of people that we know mm -hmm. that their relationships didn't work because they either gave up or they just chose not to persevere through the hard times yeah yeah and, and, and to be honest you know it's sad to see because in that kind of relationship you have kids involved oh yeah and when you have kids involved it's definitely gonna impact them it's them. devastating and also mm -hmm. it's gonna impact your future but yeah for us you know we, we can't say what happened to those relationships yeah because everyone has a story but everybody has a story yeah. and everybody has their own side of story mm -hmm. and for us we don't want to judge that right yeah, yeah, but yeah. what we want to do is we just want to help you guys so that if something does happen you try to fix it first mm -hmm. and you try pretty much everything so that that doesn't happen to you and yeah. for us as well yeah it's like finding the underlying issue it's kind of like medicine or when mm -hmm. you get sick you don't just you know treat it with medicine right away you have to find like the underlying issue whether it's like your diet or maybe you're lacking exercise and stuff like that right like you have to find different ways to resolve your sickness before going to like an extensive measure like medicine right yeah and maybe uh, I want to show you guys this quote. So it says here, you guys, a reporter asked an old couple, how did you manage to stay together for 65 years? So she replied, we were born in a time when if something was broken, we would fix it and not throw it away, mm -hmm. dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. So just having that kind of mentality, like back in the days when something isn't going well or there's challenges in the relationship then they would try to fix it and not throw it away mm -hmm. so in maybe in this kind of society now like in our generation maybe some people think that it's better just to throw everything away or it's better just to let go mm -hmm. and find something else so that they can resolve the issue mm -hmm. And I, I think that it masks it. It masks it, yeah. And I think that's kind of a raw mentality to have because there's always going to be challenges mm -hmm. in life. And if you think that hey, uh, leaving that person mm -hmm. is going to fix the issue, then I think you're, it's going to be a very, very hard road for yeah. you. Yeah, I think it will be just repetitive. Because mm -hmm. if you think with this current partner, oh, I can, you know, I can find someone else. Mm -hmm. Then what if you're with your next partner? then you'll still have that mentality like, oh, I can just find another person if yeah. this person doesn't solve the problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. you, and, and and it feels like, if you think about it, it's like a commodity. Mm -hmm. if, if 
that if that's the way you think that okay you know i can just treat this person as a commodity i'll just mm-hmm. keep going on to the next person and i'll try to find the perfect person yeah then i think <laughs> it's not gonna work out right because yeah. to be honest there's no one perfect person and there's gonna be a person in your life or your significant other where they're not gonna be a hundred percent what you think mm-hmm. they're gonna be mm-hmm. um, it, it's basically you have to compromise on their either weaknesses or their uh, the things that you don't like about them right mm-hmm. so you just gotta compromise that yeah and that's why the love languages is important too because mm-hmm. you can find out what works and what doesn't if you mm-hmm. if you read the book yeah. and another thing is for preventative me- measure when you're dating just lay it out all on the table just yeah. say like hey these are what i expect in, in a relationship yeah right and then at that at least at that point then you can see if this person has the same values the same beliefs as you yeah. and you have to think when you're dating like this is going to be the person that you're going to marry like every dating relationship no matter who it is just think of it for the long term like i'm hoping this is going to be a marriage this is going to be lifetime and if you don't see that with this person then it's better just to you know move on yeah yeah because you have to think about long term this is a long term sacrifice you guys like this is this is forever like for me i don't see myself with anybody else yeah you know what i mean like this is going to be my lifetime partner i'm going to grow old with him we're going to have kids we're gonna yeah. be yeah. we're gonna retire together yeah. you know what i mean yeah we're gonna do everything together right? yeah and, and you're the only person that's yeah. gonna that i'm gonna do that with so yeah and and just having that connection mm-hmm. and if you can have that connection then anything that comes into your life then basically it's gonna get blocked out right so mm-hmm. and, and, and there's a lot, a lot of people that you know get either uh envious of mm-hmm. your relationship and they'll try to um kind of like separate you mm-hmm. but you just have to kind of be aware yeah. and be and persevere mm-hmm. so that if that happens then you know that hey i'm looking at the bigger picture um you know my wife and i we're gonna do this together we're gonna look long term mm-hmm. and especially in a long relationship if you've been like with a person for like decades sometimes it gets repetitive right mm-hmm. so what you guys have to think that when you're with this person your significant other other your partner mm-hmm. you got you gotta always fall in love with her like kind of like when you first met her and how you're like okay yeah i remember that feeling when i first met her mm-hmm. you gotta do that every single day because if you do that then your bond is gonna get stronger and stronger mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i agree and also as a parent like for the parents out there you want to be a role model for your kids yeah. and growing up like i didn't have that role model of a happy healthy relationship yeah. and luckily for me like i'm not the type of person to kind of follow in that footsteps i just want to be better yeah. so i took the steps to you know find a good relationship have a healthy family because i never had it yeah so that's the, my takeaway from this is just to be a role model for your kids like you want to show them what love is like yeah. so that when they grow up they know exactly what it's going to be like because they saw it from the parents the parents yeah all right guys hopefully you guys learned something new today so this is the end of the video so we'll recap the four things that we talked about so we talked about uh, first was the five type of love languages second is communication third is being a team mm-hmm. and fourth is perseverance Mm -hmm. and if you guys can do that hopefully you guys will have a better and healthy relationship yeah and a more successful one too again if you guys haven't subscribed already please do so to help our social media algorithm button is below Uh, follow us on instagram facebook and if you guys have any questions feel free to dm us we'd love to hear from you guys and until next week we'll put out another poll Talk, uh, asking you guys what you guys want to hear from us and if you guys have suggestions please just give it to us like please. we'll we'll do it yeah. we'll, we'll, we need ideas right we need ideas yeah. yeah so until next time we'll see you guys later bye see ya. <laughs>